Good morning. I have a little bit of a holler haul today. Uh, not much. The way that I shop uh, at hauler is I kind of just add stuff to my cart throughout the week and as it goes on sale or whatnot. And once I hit the point, <clears throat> excuse me, where I get free shipping, I think it's $25. That's when I'll send them the order. So I don't, um, I don't usually place an order every week, more like every other week or so. Um, I don't get a lot of stuff on Holler, um, but this time of year I'm kind of looking for stocking stuffer things and small gifts and of course small craft supply that could be used in my um, for my business or for my paper crafting addiction or hobby. Um, one of the things that I was really pleased to get from my Holler the time before this are these little uh, zipper bags which I love and I use them um, I think it was like a dollar or two for this whole bag um, and I, I think they're technically jewelry bags but I use them for um, putting my free samples of confetti in them to ship with my orders for my Etsy shop so I kind of just get them all filled up with a little confetti and someone buys a card or something and I just whoop, I slip it right into the package and just ni a nice thing to do I think and of course that you know for a dollar or two how can you not how can you not pick them up they're so cute so anyway so I got a huge box from Holler and it was like 90% filled with those air pockets uh, and one big long string, and I and I hate that. I really do. I like to save them because I'll reuse them from stuff that I that I ship from my online shops. But I could never use that many. <laughs> it just seems so wasteful. Why not just use a smaller box hauler? I've been meaning to to write to them about that. So the first thing that I have from hauler, um, I just thought was adorable. My daughter, she's nine. She's a big slob. Her room is just constantly a mess. She's constantly uh, piling up stuff and putting things where they don't belong and so on and so forth. And one of the things that we struggle with is she doesn't take care of her her own dirty laundry. Um, so she'll run out of clothes and then it will be like, well, why didn't you put your dirty laundry basket in the bathroom? I could have been doing the laundry all week. Um, you know, constantly every day I'm running a load or two of laundry. There's only three of us, you know, my husband and my daughter and myself. Every day I'm running at least a load of laundry through and I don't know. <laughs> and she maybe once a month I'll get a basket of stuff for her and at that point it's because she's out of clean underwear or whatnot. And so I'm trying to think of ways that I can encourage her to be a little bit more responsible. And I don't know if this will all show up. I'm filming on my iPhone, so I'm not sure if all of this will show up. But I think this was like $5, this hamper, um, that looks like a washing machine. So I thought maybe if she had a cute uh, hamper instead of a laundry basket for her bedroom, it would encourage her to use it more. She has um, a toy kitchen, a rather large toy, toy kitchen, which was a vintage set that a carpenter had actually made for his grandchildren like 50 years ago and my husband bought it uh, a couple husband and I bought it a couple years back from um, a family on Craigslist where the, the grandchildren had outgrown it and their grandchildren had outgrown it and so on and so forth and it's a large very nice quality you know handmade wooden set uh, toy kitchen it's not like your small for toddlers uh, type to a kitchen. It's a good size kitchen. So we repainted it pink and that was our daughter's big Christmas gift that year. So, and she still uses it. She has all the play food and so on and so forth. Even though she's nine and, you know, tall, it still fits her and she still uses it. So I thought maybe if she put her, her little washing machine <laughs> next to her little kitchen, it could, she could kind of incorporate it in part of her, um, her imaginary play when she plays house and stuff. So I haven't opened it yet and I probably won't on camera because the plastic makes it annoying annoying sound but that's really cool and that's something that I, I kind of plan to give her probably this afternoon um, when she gets home and I actually I've opened the top of the box but I haven't pulled everything out yet so some of this it's been long enough since I put the stuff in my cart that it's like Christmas for me <laughs> so um looks like this is also for my daughter her name is Leah um she loves Lala Loopsy and we I believe it's a tv show we don't have TV, so she's never seen this show, so she's just falling in love with these characters 
um, from packaging in the stores. And I think at one point I, she had a coloring book too. So these are just really cute. She loves the La La Loopsie. She has the big dolls and collects them. She has the La La Loopsie Easy Bake Oven. And I just thought this was really cute. It's a little bit too big to fit in her stocking, which is just like a standard stocking size but I thought this might make a nice uh, a nice small Christmas gift and it was probably just a couple of dollars nothing wrong with that jackpot we've got some yes dryer sheets it smells pretty oppressive, but my husband likes the scented stuff, and this was probably only a dollar or whatnot, which is still, it's 20 sheets, so it's, you know, still cheaper than, I've seen this brand at the stores before. But. Uh, this was something that was hauled in another video um, from Betsy at Unique Paper 15, I think is where I saw this. It's a watercolor, uh, they call it a plate, but a watercolor palette. I'm not the best watercolorer, but I do enjoy it, and I do enjoy mixing my own colors, and I find that the the little, the little pans that they give you in, in the watercolor kits just aren't aren't big enough to get a really nice blend. So I think for, I think this was less than a dollar. Um, it's plastic. I think that this will work just fine. And my daughter likes to watercolor as well. So that's something that we can do together. And that is big enough to share. So let's see also for my daughter, some Shopkin stickers. I'll probably let her have those now. Uh, my, Leah and I both participate in pen pal clubs. So um, we might both use these to decorate our happy meal for our, our pen pals. Um, just She loves Shopkins, just cute little things. Um, for me, we have, let me take it out of the bag here, Oil Foaming Acne Face Wash. I think this is a generic Neutrogena. It looks like a Neutrogena um, packaging and it's got salicylic acid. I I have acne <laughs> and it's it's been super worse like the past month or so I don't know if it's just because of the humidity um, but it seems like every day I'm waking up to a new breakout it's just not fair when you're 38 years old and and kind of hoping that you're past all this so I figured I'd give this a shot and the worst that can happen is that it doesn't work right so next we have these glitter pencils which are for for me just as much as my daughter. I'm not a super big um, colored pencil colorer. <clears throat> it's not something that I even incorporate in my card art. I might someday but um, but as of right now I don't. So colored pencils are more just for fun for us and slightly aside um, this is my this is my colored pencil roll that I got from I believe it was AliExpress and I really like it and I of course, because uh, everything has to be in rainbow water. <laughs> I really like it, so I'll get these pencils in here, and Leah and I will color another time. I usually just tend to bring like a coloring book and some pencils when we're on the road. Um, for my husband, boom, three outlet plug. We rent a very old house. Uh, outlet space is at a premium here. I figured, why not, right? Uh, let's see. Up. Oh. A Halloween themed projection flashlight with discs uh, this kind of like I could tell from sorry I'm opening up a, a some packaging off-camera here um, I could tell just seeing on the website that this wasn't going to be a particularly quality item but I thought as long as it lasted through Halloween night itself um, our town it, it does really nice trick-or-treating they actually shut down um, lower Main Street to, to, to all through traffic and then those the whole town donates candy to the families that live on that street and that's kind of like the one street where families can go out and walk and trick or treat because we're pretty rural out here um, otherwise it would be you know <laughs> if it's not you know if we're not trick-or-treating downtown it, there just really isn't any trick-or-treating because the houses are so far apart but anyway but it gets dark and there's no street lights on that street so unless it's coming from um, a house light, uh, a lamp from outside of a house, you really can't see where you're going. So we always try to bring a flashlight, but I thought that this, this year might be something a little fun that we could do. Hopefully it'll last through the night. Um, and of course my, some Opie nail lacquer. This is inside the Isabelt way. Kind of a nice brown color. And I apologize for my nails currently. I didn't realize that they were this bad before I decided to make a quick video this morning. Also for my daughter, just for fun, 
Littlest Pet Shop, another one of her loves. She loves coloring, but she's really getting into these activity books. And I know that she's nine and these are a little bit below her, but it, she gets so proud of herself when she, she she's very intelligent and she gets good grades and, um, you know, reads well beyond her, uh, her grade level and with her math too. She's very good at math. Um, but she gets a real sense of accomplishment from being able to very quickly and easily take care of an activity. She could probably have, you know, all of these done in an hour <laughs> and then just focus on coloring. So I figured, eh, why not for, for cheap, why not let her have an afternoon of play and enjoyment? This I saw and I couldn't resist. Fuzzy mustaches, peel and stick mustaches. My daughter's school every year does a winter activities where the whole school for every day for a week dresses up in different themes and different days are themed. And one of them is traditionally mustache day. And I'm always so unprepared <laughs> for it. And I saw this and it just made me laugh and laugh and laugh. So I thought that, um, that this would be really cool. I'm the mom that will send my kid in with like, I, uh, I pencil drawn in on her face for mustache because I've forgotten. Um, so hopefully I'll actually remember where these are come February when it's mustache day time. And it looks like the last thing in this big old box here, I think this was a dollar, a 16 ounce bottle of Myers dish soap, which we were running low on dish soap. So good thing. So this is kind of an example of something that I'll see that's a good price and I'll throw it in my cart, but it's not really worth placing an order just for something like this. I'll wait until I hit the free shipping point uh, with stuff that I'm interested in and then I'll click the button uh, and then it usually takes a week and a half, two weeks to get my, my holler order and it's usually nothing that I'm that desperate for. So um, so that's just about it for my holler haul. I hope you enjoyed or, or got inspired to have a peek and look at some deals. I will guess I'll be doing my nails today. <laughs> also I made some uh, Yesterday I made some new jelly prints, uh, which is a lot of fun. I love my jelly plate. Um, these are, these get cut down and made into note cards for my Etsy shop. I love, love, love doing this. So I'm really excited that I have this to work on today. And I guess I'm going to go put away my stuff. And we have a pet bunny rabbit that's going to love playing with this, this holler box. So thank you for your very kind attention. And have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.